Have you ever wondered what will be the sex of the next child? I am Mr. Wilson from CSEC Biology, the cover page. Stay with me and let's explore. This lesson is suitable for students grade 9 to 13 anywhere in the Caribbean. Today we'll be looking at inheritance of sex. People having interest in children most times have a preferred sex. However, the sex of a child is usually not known. This could only be determined by nature until modern medicine, of course, that seems to have changed. We all have 46 chromosomes, half of which came from each parent, 22 pairs are called autosomes, and the other pair sex chromosome. They are represented using X and Y. The genotype for female is represented using XX, while for male, the genotype is XY. The father is the only one with the Y chromosome. That determines the sex of a child. It is still not safe to say what the sex of a child will be due to segregation. Hence, even a parent with the record 69 children would not be able to accurately predict the sex of any of the offspring. Let's use genetic diagrams to help you better understand. Here we are going to be using the genetic cross. The phenotype is on screen, male, female. Now we have the genotype. Usually the naming convention places X in front of Y for the male and XX for the female. Let's break away to the gametes, as you should do in your exams. Ensure that you start your cross here and you're following this pattern. Then we have random fertilization. And this random fertilization, this random assortment, is responsible for us not being able to accurately predict what the offspring will be unless, of course, we turn to modern medicine. So here we go with the cross, and you're going to see the random assortment here. We could have crossed this X with the X here. Look at your screen. You could have crossed it with this X on the screen here, or we could have crossed it with this one. There we're seeing that it's just about a random pattern. There we go again. Make sure that you're following the cross. You might be called upon to do a similar cross in your examination if at any time you would have missed a step i suggest that you replay the video so you can follow the diagram with great ease and of course understand pretty well now you will see here from the results that we have we have xx which is the genotype xy xy and xx remember the naming convention always place the x in front of a y can you determine the phenotype of the offspring? Let's see. You're correct, female, male, male, female. Hence, you see from the result here that each time a woman conceives, the chance of her having a male or female, it is always going to be 50-50, one-to-one, or of course, half and half. Let's use the Punnett square to solve a similar problem. So here we have the phenotype and the genotype. And we are pulling the gametes as we're doing here. We're using a Punnett square. A Punnett square is just a rectangle with pretty much two horizontal lines and two vertical lines. We put a diagonal line in the first cell and now we're going to be populating the Punnett square. Here we go. Here it is showing that the first XY at the top here is from the male. Usually we use a symbol right here to represent male and here we use another symbol to represent female. And again, we can see there that represents female. Let's populate. 
Now the color here is assisting you as a guide as to where we're getting the data from, where we're getting that bit of information to fill this cell out. So it's coming from here and here, hence we have this. Here we go again. So this X is from here, comes here, and this Y is from here, comes here, and this X again from here, comes here, and then of course that X and we complete like that. Remember for your examination, you want to identify which side has the male, which side has the female. So here would have the male, you could use a symbol for male, or you could write the word male here, or you could use a symbol for female here, or write the word female. That bit you need to fill in, and when you do your practice, please ensure that you can show to your teacher, you can show to me on the live, that you remembered that you are supposed to put a symbol there for male and female, or use the word there to represent male and female female. Again, the result is going to be the same, the ratio 1 to 1, 50-50 percent, or half and half if it were fraction, representing male to female. And remember, even though you've written the ratio, you need to say what the ratio represents. It represents male to female. Thanks much for watching this very short lesson, and do follow us as we present more lessons on genetics. Please remember to like, share, subscribe, and of course, leave us a comment. When you do subscribe, don't forget, please be reminded to click the notification bell. See you next time.